just absolutely shocked and appalled. Cars towed in the middle of the night in a community still reeling from hail damage. More than 15 vehicles were towed overnight from 128th Street in the community of Cornerstone just a few weeks back, and the residents had no idea why. An organizer for the community, Alicia Armenius Bolmer, says that their street wasn't meant to be targeted for towing. The community that they say they gave notice to is two kilometers west of where they towed from. It was a totally, entirely different community. Ward 5 Councillor George Chahal says he's heard from some of the residents affected and has been looking into the situation. I'm just surprised that um, during this time, um, it's a challenging time for everybody, that these residents have this additional stress to deal with and then navigating to get their car back from an impound on the other end of the city. Um, so we, I, I really hope that uh, CPA reviews their policies and uh, look at this roadway and ensure that this doesn't happen again. A statement from the Calgary Parking Authority says in part, the decision to tow was made following numerous resident complaints and to ensure parked vehicles were not impeding the flow of traffic. We will be covering the tow and impound storage costs and will contact the residents affected directly. But Armenius Bulmer says they have yet to hear about a refund. We have not received that notice from the CPA that uh, the apology and the refund is coming. We have heard that through other channels. We've heard it through uh, George Chahal's office, who has been very uh, helpful in this situation. I've also received that notification from a different reporter. I just want to stress again that the CPA has not contacted us with that information, and I find that very telling. And being asked to take on the work of appealing to the CPA doesn't sit well with Armenius Bomer either. Their solution and their recommendations that we file an appeal. Um, again, that would be one thing if it were only one household affected, but it's in my entire street. It's my entire community that's been affected. And I think it's absolutely unreasonable to expect 15 plus households to navigate that system.